Finally, we got out the giant <laughs> uh, oil rig. And uh, we get some underwater levels, people. I mean, I knew we were going to get that submarine eventually. The Titanic all over again. Man, these these loan screens, man, I'll never get tired of them. And uh, we lost the submarine. Hopefully uh, we can repair it. Uh, we're swimming underwater. We're actually starting underwater for a level, so... Hopefully we can uh, find somewhere uh, safe, like, to breathe. We're stuck underwater. We've got sharks everywhere. I'm guessing what we're supposed to use these uh, to protect ourselves from uh, getting uh, getting bitten. I'm really trying not to die, but don't have a whole lot of options. Oh, okay, we got an opening right here. This looks like this looks like some old uh, ship that's been shipwrecked. Pretty ancient. And uh, we're about to die. Oh, shit, shit, shit. I think I saw... Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, shit! No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You ain't catching us. This is just like one giant chase. Alright, we'll bait him over here and get some air. <laughs> as long as he, like, doesn't, like, full-on catch us, we should be good. Alright, so the AI is a bit dumb, so I guess that kind of works in our favor. We just gotta find some sort of refuge. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 I see it now. I see it. I see it. I see it. <laughs> but the shark's coming with me. There it is. I, it, w it was here the whole time. I just. I kind of just didn't see it. It kind of all blended in together. My life depends on this, on this one switch. Can I get some air, please? Almost died. <laughs> Honestly, we'll take that. I don't, I don't ever want to do that again. That is stressful. All right, now I guess we start the level normally. And I actually get a chance to speak, because uh, the whole time, man, I was just stressing. I wasn't even trying to uh, banter too long. A lot of stuff happened uh, last time we played Tomb Raider uh, 2. A whole lot of shit, you know. We went to, like, you know, we started off in the Great Wall of China. Okay, why did I do that twice? We started in the Great Wall of China. Switch doesn't want to work anymore, so. I mean, I guess we fucked it. <laughs> We went to Venice, we got imprisoned in an oil rig, and now we're underwater, so... This might be the most weirdest game in terms of, like, direction, where, where it's taken us. Alright, so it looks like we drained the water. I, I assumed, because I pressed the switch twice, that, like, um... That, like, I did whatever was done. Alright. It just gets, this game just gets more and more interesting. Whereas, like, with the first game, man, it will take us to, like, four major, like, places. It will take us to, like, Peru. And with, like, all of that, um... With all of that stuff. And then we got, uh, you know, ancient Greece, you know, ancient Egypt, Atlantis, you know, all these, all these mythical, uh... Like, ancient places. <laughs> Whereas this game's kind of like mixing it up, like now we're, you know, instead of going to some like, 
crazy other part of the world, you know, we're just looking through some abandoned ships, so I really like the uh, the direction this game is going. Oh man, the, the, that first part truly kicked our ass because we're doing six parts now. Oh fuck. Uh, totally, uh, did a game be prepared for like, the fuck ton of enemies we're gonna have to. Killed one. Anybody else? Huh? Anybody else? Shit! <laughs> oh, yeah, man, I'm getting so good at this game, and then, like, a whole, like, uh, entourage of these fucking clowns come out of nowhere. Well, one thing going into this, uh, the second part that I've, uh, really learnt from, uh, playing the first game and, uh, playing last time is, uh, you know, every, every single room has a purpose, even if it, like, doesn't seem like at first, like, there seems, like, to be a room. I mean, sometimes there is, but, like, often enough, often there's, like, a room that doesn't seem significant. Or, like, there's something at the, like, the very beginning of a level that you don't think too much of. That, uh, you need later on, so. As you can see, man, we're making colossal progress. Very quickly. But... We'll see what the what the next uh, how the next levels treat us, and uh, hopefully we don't spend uh, eighteen hours this time. <laughs> you know what? I actually I saw this ladder before, but then I saw like there was nothing below it. Yeah, I probably should have gone up here. I kept looking at the ladder, I kept passing through the hallway, and I'm like, there's something here. Well, that's that's just an obvious. I mean, there's there's some like ladders for decoration, but when I looked at it, I didn't I didn't see the uh, the opening at the top. I thought it was just there for show. All right, what's behind door number one? What do we got? And for some reason, uh, there's a whole bunch of uh, bad dudes. <laughs> Underwater, guarding this uh, this shipwreck. You know what I wonder? If maybe on this shipwreck they found um, the the ancient Chinese artifact, perhaps. But who knows? There has to be some sort of significance with. Uh... Oh, that's great. One, one one thing that I hate like um, the most in Tomb Raider is like the uh, the fire, especially because like it's it's like you don't have even have to be standing too close to it and it'll just burn you, like I get it, it's an old school game but like you can't even like jump over the flames even if like you you don't even touch a single part of it, you're just gonna burn alive. Only if you touch like a little tiny bit, it's like your whole body just... It's like you've been gassed by gasoline. Like you've been just drenched, like with just gasoline. And then when you just when you just touch like a little bit of fire. It just just a little bit of fire and, and you know, you just burn to death. Third degree burns and all. It's uh, it's kind of ridiculous. Quick. If I fail, I'll just, I'll just save that section. Oh, perfect. I'm not even standing in the correct position. Jump around the corner. Run, 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 run. With a second to spare. With a second, I mean, not a, you're not even a second, like a third of a second left. Oh shit! We got a fucking. Is that electric eel? Okay, I gotta swim all the way to the top. But it looks it looks like we're probably gonna have to drain this at some point, because uh, there's way too many ladders. 
And that's way too much of a clue. I'm guessing you probably missed some sort of switch of some sort. Yeah, it's right there. And this thing's gonna... Eat at me. And that's at the very bottom. I have nothing. Did I do all this just for a collectible? Let me escape! I got stuck on a door. Okay, what is all this? This looks like some sort of, uh... Like... Is this like a whole bunch of rubble or or dirt? I'm not sure what it is. Uh, but it looks like we can uh, we can probably jump on this ladder. So, oh, or we can jump into uh, an even deeper level. Uh, how big is the ship, man? And uh, when when exactly did it did it crash? Because uh, I mean, it doesn't look too ancient. But it also doesn't look too modern, so I'm guessing what between nineteen between nineteen tens and nineteen forties, I'm guessing nineteen fifties. You know what's what's a dead giveaway? As soon as I see the line in the middle and the line across, sort of like a little uh, plus symbol that divides it all. Like I know we can. Uh, we can pull it. It's it's almost like a dead giveaway each time. I'm not sure if that's done purposefully or is that uh just the way it has to be. Thankfully, it's uh it's a bit obvious because some of these levels they are a bit confusing. Okay, what, what's this switch gonna do? What the f fuck just happened? Third time's the charm. Yeah, how about that? <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta use the shotgun a lot more. I, I wonder what we, uh, what we got here. We got a lever. What, what, what's this gonna do? I wonder if this is like the door from before that we saw. Maybe I'm thinking about another door, but I remember there's like a backtrack point in uh in the ship. And we got more harpoons. I don't know man, the harpoon is kinda seeming like my my least favorite weapon in uh in these classic Tomb Raider games. It's so bad. And that is the end of the level. 40 fathoms uh what a uh start what a start to a level you know you start underwater and there's no time to like think or just or just chill or absorb the atmosphere you know you gotta go find some air you know those killer sharks you know <laughs> it's a bit weird to play an underwater level and not be and for it for there not to be like not many scuba divers. I think there was probably only like one or two uh, in the level. Very few enemies. Very, very few. But, uh, yeah, man, let's see. Let's see where this takes us, man. We went to some broken underwater some, cr some like, underwater shipwreck. And they're under there as well. So... It's taken a it's taken a tricky turn, you know. We start in, Ch in China, we go to Italy, and now we're in some we were in some oil rig, and now we're some crash land ship. So, from what I assume, I think uh, the artifact is on the ship or was on the ship at one point. But uh, I guess we're gonna have to find out. Oh, we just. We just pick up right where we left off. That mission actually wasn't that bad besides the whole the whole lever thing. 
Did I just go for a wall? What the fuck is going to my game? Can I turn the flash on? Guys, what is going on my game? <laughs> Guys, what is going on my game? I've, I've legit just fucked the game, like... I keep, like, reappearing and then just getting sucked into some void. I'm trying to turn on, like, the, uh, the flash to see everything, but... You can only just vaguely make me out. Like, here I go, I appear, I appear again. <laughs> like, what did I just do? I picked up some harpoons and then just phased through, like, the entire level. That is wonderful. Yeah, apparently this is the, uh, the shipwreck of... The Maria Doria. And I'm not sure if that's like a real boat somewhere in history. Or, or whatnot, but... Apparently, according to my chat, it's, uh... Oh... Perfect. It's one of those levels. It's a pretty long and confusing level, so... I guess I'm here for it. There we go. And the second guy. Yeah. I mean, the, the, this, this is why we wait out a bit on using those big health packs is, uh... I mean, you, with every, like, two to three enemies you kill, you get, like, another mini uh, health pack. If not a big one. So, it's kind of sweet. Yeah, I need, and I, I need some health right now. I like I like the whole vibe of this level though. Probably the probably the, the one of the coolest levels I've seen in the game so far. You know, actually exploring a shipwrecked, uh, you know, debris. Looks like we got some little key over here. I wonder, right? Are we gonna have to do what I think we're gonna have to do? And uh, and flood this shit? No, I mean that was, that was a big disappointment. Get out of my face! Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't know what's around this corner. Is there anybody else? Want to try? It looks like we're, we're, in, we're in, uh... By the looks of it, some sort of, like, engine room, maybe? I have no idea where we are. But I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, exploring the rest. So yeah, no, this is the key we saw before. It was some sort of like, it kind of has like red and metal on it. We need one, two, and three. And what? That's probably going to open up the, uh, the end of the level. But we'll know where one is. Just going to track them all down. Sometimes it's really that obvious. <laughs> I was like, nah, the game's, the game's just, uh, trolling me. But this, I, I was still thinking about this, uh, from before. I was like, this looks like... Something could open, but... I kinda left it, for, I kinda left it for later, you know, once we get... A bit confused. Where did this dude came from? He, he was never here. There needs to be a, like, I feel like they need to make a good, um, Titanic game someday. You know, I really like what they did with, um, with, with COD Zombies, with, uh, with BO4. I haven't played it though, but... There's some, there, there's some pretty good ti- uh... There's some pretty good Titanic games, but like, we need like... 
we need one way you go in through like a shipwreck and there's like monsters there and kind of like make it like a, into a horror game. That's it. What I want to know is, um, with these keys, right, what exactly... They remind me of so of some sort of, like... They, rem they remind me of something, but... But not exactly keys. Maybe, like, those, uh... It kind of, it kind of makes me think of, like, a switch. Like one of those metal switches. Gonna quite point it out. Well, we have one. I thought that was gonna help us with something, but I guess not. Oh, it's uh, it's freed up some of the fire, so that's nice. But we still have like one over there. All right, one down, two more to go. Ah, you see that, guys? You see that? Well, the, the first time when we uh, went down here, we just completely died. Oh, we have some sort of like normal, normal key here. Restroom key. Alright, now, what I want to know is, um, if I can get away from some of these chairs. I want to know what the hell we do with these. Like, are these just switches? Like... Oh, they're just buttons. I was thinking about, um, I was having flashbacks to, like, Egypt. You know, when he needed to find some sort of, like, artifact and put it into, like, the fucking slot. I don't know, but it was, like, one pillar and we had to, like, find, like, four artifacts. And put it into the level so we can progress. Not sure if that was in the May game or in the expansion, but... Just a series of switches, man. And, uh, it's just gonna tease us. So... It's like, we know it's there, but it just doesn't want to give us yet, so... Go here, go there. But in the end, we still go through the level. Yeah, I don't... Trust this game one bit. All right, so we need to we need to find yet another key. We got a door over here. We got a door over there. And I guess uh, maybe a backtrack point. A few other doors here. All right, what's behind? What do we got? There was one whole, well, there was one like one uh, really good uh, horror movie. I forgot what it's called, but like these guys go into the underwater, some underwater shipwreck, and you know strange stuff happens. And I could describe the movie forever, but if I did, it would just totally uh, it would just totally spoil it. But like probably one of the best uh, horror movies I've ever watched. <laughs> I mean, ever since, like, when I watched Titanic as a kid, and, uh, I guess watching that movie in the last few years, like, I just... I really dig the whole, uh... Abandoned ship- Abandoned, uh, shipwreck type, 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 uh, setting. For, like, video games and for movies, I kind of... I'm really all for it. Oh! Uh -huh. Okay, I guess we found the key. What sort of rusted, uh... What sort of rusted ass key? Uh. 
Okay, so that's that first section. And that was just uh, solely for a key. Oh no, we we've opened all the doors, so we still have that one that one uh, door at the very end, and we got this one. All right, what does the game have in store for us? I didn't think it was actually going to be called the rusty key. I just said it was a rusty ass key. <laughs> Oh! Little did I know it was gonna be that anti-climactic. And I wonder, like, you know, when these guys in the ship are, like, shipwreck, or, or when, you, when you face enemies at these ancient places, it's like, when did they, you know, when, when did they eat? I see a boat below us, but let me let me check up here first. You know, when, when did they get the chance to eat or sleep? It's like a bit odd, it's like all these, all these guys at these, uh... Okay, it looks like that's a backtrack point. At these weird ancient locations. And like, what's the job? They just stand there for like, for all time and, and wait for somebody to supposedly come by? I don't know. I ask, I ask a lot of weird questions that I don't think, uh... A lot of normal gamers would really think about. All right, but it looks like we got some sort of like little canoe or what? What is this? This isn't a canoe. This is something uh, else. All right, we got a lever right here. All right, that we got that unlocked now. I hate when, uh, when it's fucking time-based. <laughs> I hate it. Right, it looks like it's uh, closed this off over here. Come on. Yes. <laughs> you wouldn't know that unless you, like, died multiple times. That's all I'm saying. I don't think anybody can like flawless tomb made it just like completely blind. Like there's no fucking way. That's what I know. Like some for some of these sections, like what are the devs thinking? Not that not that they did anything too outrageous, but it's like you got a backflip here for like ages. I still I still hear another guy. Oh shit, we found the second key. Alright, it looks like we just need one more. Alright, this look this looks like a button that's gonna do something to us. Honestly, this might be my like my favorite level in the game so far. Alright, so how how could this one help us out? Oh that's that's all it does. It just gives us a way out. All right, let's let's get this key, man, and uh, hopefully not die or die. And with the second key in our possession, man, I was like, shit, did I even did I even grab that? It looks like some hidden passageway has opened. And with that, with that in our, in our possession now, we're officially two-thirds of a level in. Uh, so hopefully we don't take, uh, much damage. Well, shit, what can you do, man? It's the only way to get down. Unless, uh, we can come down from here. There, there's, there's some fall damage you're just gonna have to live with. Oh, okay, we found a little secret, hey? No, I guess not really a secret. Uh, I think this... Is this is this how we unlock the, uh... The key? Perhaps? Alright, let's, let's see what the second one does. 
It's another circuit breaker. And all this just to get that one cube so I can go over this, uh, just to go over this thing. All that just to go, just to climb up. <laughs> we have cracked the system, guys. Uh, little did I know it was going to be the simplest thing of all time. Just have to reverse the, the, uh, the doorway. But, let me check now. <laughs> all I had to do was close these doors. I mean, I wasn't stuck on here for particularly too long, but, uh -huh. yeah. That's where we finally got that third and final key. Alright, time, time to just put this bad boy in. And, uh, let's, let's try to not burn alive, perhaps. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, man, it's... These, uh, th these three circuit breakers. Just so we can move this box. And, uh... And get to, like, one little doorway. I question if this game is more of, like, a... If this game is more of a, uh... Third-person shooter or platformer, or if it's just... More of a puzzle game. More than anything, these older ones. I, I like some of the puzzles, but some of them are... Some of them I feel like a red, a red dreadful. We made it all this way. Get down, get down. Sky of anything. Doesn't look like it. The fuck just happened? What did I do? I was like, there's no way that's... That's so steep. I knew eventually at some point we're probably gonna have to like, traverse this. That's it. Just a more classic platformer, come on. This game gives me hardcore anxiety. Sweet. And, uh, I'm not taking a chance to fall into my death. Oh, maybe not fall into our death, but falling into a uh, bunch of water. Probably infested with sharks. This has to be the end. What now? Oh. What's going on here? Yeah, this guy would've killed me, man. Yeah, no. Ain't no, no one's stopping me on my path, man. No one's stopping me. I think we made it to, like, the fucking, um... Uh -huh. To the helm. We, were <laughs> we went all the way to the helm, dude. Alright, let's, let's use the flare. Because we never, we never seem to use those. Alright, looks like we got some... An extra, I think we got an extra sort of swimming section. Just when I thought the level was, uh, was over. It brings me back in. Got a door right there. I won't say there's a shit time more, but there's some more things we gotta do. Alright game, what do you have in store for me? Aww. 
Please, no sharks. For the love of God, no sharks. I have not missed these guys. And we got the fucking, I don't know, eels or fucking... What the fuck are they? Oh, we need to get out of here, dude. There we are, man. We're just here. Yeah, I, I, I fully, like, say, like, this is, like, the coolest level in the game so far. Grab the key. <laughs> oh, shit. It was a little extra section here. Ah, oh, guys, we found it. Oh. I know it's been, like, right here the whole time. <laughs> Everything is so grey. Everything just kind of blends in together. Cabin key. Alright, what do we got? The cabin. We got another door. And another lever. Alright, what, what do we got for here? Oh, there's somebody around that fucking corner. What's that sound? Oh, but I thought this was like the room we were in before. It, it, it's, it's almost identical, but it's like very different. These guys, these guys are tricky, man. Well, especially with the AI, they just... It seems like the, uh, the AI just... Wherever you walk, if, you, if you're, like, a level above, they'll just go right underneath you. And you'll, like, run around the circles. Hopefully get there faster, faster in time. Some weird looking. Yeah, probably should crack at least one. We've got killer eels and everything. It's gonna run. Oh shit, there's fucking eels everywhere. Get me out, get me out. Dude, fucking eels everywhere. I thought it was just gonna be one, but there's no, there's a shit ton. And I can't, I can't see a damn thing. Is this just like a safe zone, perhaps? Is this another part of the ship? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Final of the level. Dude, what a... Such a dope level. And uh, it looks like we end down with the, uh, the Maria Doria. But, uh, you know, it gave me a lot of, like, Titanic, Titanic-type vibes, you know, shipwrecked. You know, a ship... How, how would you say it? A shipwrecked ship. The wreckage of a ship. <laughs> I don't know, it's, uh... It was a pretty cool level. The whole... It's like the whole ship was, like, upside down. And, you know, we, we got to the helm, the main entrance, you know, the iconic stairway, you know, that leads two ways. And, and I, don't feel, I don't really feel like I got, like, particularly stuck on, like, any section of the level for, for too long. Honestly, maybe not my favorite level of this game. I'm not entirely sure what would be that, but uh, definitely one of my favorites so far. So, so, such a cool level. Oh, we saw we saw the water again. Deja vu. Deja vu all over again. Okay, how do how do we get out of this mess? Doesn't look like we have any room to breathe either. Oh, I see it. It's like the the water's trying to fight with me. It's like I'm trying to swim, and it's like. No, you cannot swim. It's like... The water the water currents are not being my friend right now. Dude, 
Dude, I fucking hate that. The anxiety of thinking you're gonna die. Alright, uh, looks like we're at the, the hull of the ship. Is that, is that what you call this area? The hull of the ship. I like the very bottom. Alright, uh, this, this level looks kind of dope. I think I've seen it in like uh, some screenshots. Well, this looks like a really cool uh, section. Looks like a whole lot of platforming. We've got some dudes hiding in here. Everybody's a bitch until, uh, you know, I start mantling or something and then they all show up out of the woodwork. I'm going down the rabbit hole here over here. I've seen it all. Oh shit. Run! The fact that I managed to dodge that while going extremely slow. A lot of flames. I mean, you, w you wouldn't think that any of it would be working, I mean, in, especially after all these years, because, like, looking at the state of the ship, it doesn't look like. It's been working for fucking decades. And I was looking, I was like, that that's strangely uh convenient to be like this. It's like why is this why is any of this arranged this way? Eh, cause it's a video game. I looked around the corner and then I just saw like this, I saw the ledge going for like ages, and I was like, yeah. Yeah, I see you game, I see, I see what you're doing. What's with the, what's with the, uh, the loud heartbeat? Like, what, 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 what is up with that? Is there like a beating, giant beating heart in here or something? I feel like I'm in some horror game running around with a shotgun. Beautiful. Right, this is the make it or break it. Good stuff, good stuff. And then I just walk off the ledge, imagine. Uh, we're just gonna carefully activate this lever and uh... Trying to jump over the ledge. Okay, so now that whole area is flooded, the, the area that uh, had all the flames and stuff. Okay. I mean, I guess that's how we activate the switch, because I was looking at it for like a while, and I was like, there's no way. Alright, we did it. And this will uh, unlock that door, I'm guessing. Oh, we got more of these fuckers. Do I even have any harpoons? Oh, we got 15. Oh, what do we got through here? Of course, there's some like <laughs> random switch in the middle of a cave. How many eels does this game want? All the eels, especially like when we went when we completed like last level. It's like we went through this like little alleyway, 
underwater and it was like full of just eels. <laughs> The, where the hell in the world are we in now? And by the looks of it, uh, it looks like shit's about to go down. Yeah. I know, man. It can never be this quiet for this long. Oh shit, I, I, I totally missed the lever because everything is, is fucking orange. Everything just blends in. Oh, it was really that simple. I thought we had to like, find some sort of way to climb up top. I know we're gonna have to get, get to it at some point. Oh, we got two levers here. What, what, what are these gonna do? Don't tell me like once timed and once permanent. Okay, so what I think I'm supposed to do is, uh... And the, and the fuck thing is, right, the camera is just not your friend whatsoever. But, like, it's a bit tough. Uh, you just cannot see, like, where you're about to go. I mean, I know it's, it's tough, but... Okay, now, now what, what's this uh, love about to do? Oh shit! <laughs> oh shit, we figured it out, guys! Ah, we just gotta fucking execute it, though. Dude, who would've known? <laughs> would've known it would've been like that. Gotta do a I gotta do a fucking a whole amount of uh, backflips just for that. Alrighty. Oh, and then we're back at square one. But it works. It does work. Are we bringing the side jumps back? Okay. A lot of platforming and uh, slick moves this level. Uh, more so than uh, than combat, I'd say. normal uh, interior you know wooden floors and nice walls like what's going on here oh I hear you imagine hey just sitting like 24 hours in some abandoned shipwreck <laughs> at the bottom of the ocean just waiting for some hypothetical person to like come through But I guess what they're guarding is, uh, very important, perhaps. Oh. <gasps> Backflips for the win, what do we got here? Godly music playing. Shooting a fish. <laughs> for gun way too strong for it. Sometimes you get these sound cues and you just don't know what what it's all about. It's, it's like uh, when you're watching a movie and you edit, head into some like building and some music pops in. Well, so sometimes it just pops up at like we random locations. This looks like um, I'm not sure exactly, but I guess we'll find a. On the way out of here. Could, uh, could potentially side jump this. Oh shit! Oh. I was getting a PTSD, I was thinking about fucking spikes and stuff. I was like, no, no way. Yes! Dude, how many, how many attempts did that take? It, it, it's... 
we're at the point of the, we're at the point in the game where it's, it's, it's requiring us to do some like pretty technical um right. jumps uh jump jump combos and it's like it's not always the easiest thing in the world <laughs> Like, you're at some awkward angles. I mean, if the camera was a bit, like, um... I mean, I mean... If I could, if I could see if it was panned a bit more better, like, I could... Okay, what the hell is this area? Oh, no, you don't. What do we got going on in here? I mean, despite all these textures being blurry and bad, and like and like really pixelated, like it looks like, like the way this looks like, I don't know how to describe it, but like it still it still looks like really uh appealing to me to my eyes. Like it looks like I don't know what this is meant to be, some sort of like um I don't know vintage couch or whatever. But even then, it's, I don't even know what the hell it is. You can see a lot of them like together and stuff. Oh shit, I think these are uh, beds. Maybe? I don't know, this, this is weird. <laughs> some weird, uh, some weird vintage furniture right here. Antique. I like the pattern on the uh, on the ground. It's not like the classic checkered black and white, but got a nice uh, pa a little pattern to it. All right, now the level's kind of getting kind of fun, but I want I don't want to speak too soon. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, no more complex uh, platforming. I think we've had enough of that. I mean, it's fine if it sprinkles it here and there, but consecutively, it does drain a person. Especially when you're not the best at it. Yeah, I, re I really, I really dig the uh, the pattern. Looks real fancy. Oh, the, and where did this guy come out of? Where is this guy? But uh, I guess we found a key. Looks like some fancy looking key though. Uh -huh. Probably something really important. You know, we found the uh, the key slot. I was like, "There's no way we can make that jump from before." I was like, trying all sorts of methods, and uh, get your guns out, get your dicks out. It's time for business. None, none of these guys are dropping any loot, so it's a bit disappointing, I'd say. I'm hoping for like more med packs or more ammo, but hey, what can you do? The uh, the theater key. Alrighty, this reminds me of uh of the opera house, you know. We get like another like stage type level. Uh, what do we have ammo for? <laughs> yeah, let's pull out the M16, man. Let's go to town on these motherfuckers. And these sons of bitches. I don't know man, it's like... It's like the M16's constipated, like... I know it's like a burst gun, but like, I can't... Even if I tap fire it, it just... It just like pauses there for like a little while. It's strong though, but... This reminds me of, uh... 
This reminds me of that one Egypt level where the wallpaper was animated. If that if that makes sense. Weird level. Where did this guy go? Come back here. I'm holding, I'm holding fire and it's not firing. All right, please. I was like holding it. You gotta hold it up for like at least two seconds before it starts firing. I'm like, why is it not firing? All right, this guy finally dropped loot. I took like, what, seven, eight guys to kill? Before, I, before they even started dropping remotely anything. Yeah, I like the M16, but it's better in like more open, uh, more more open areas. <laughs> I'll chat where we go for everything. Man, dude, these automatic pistols, man, they haven't been letting me down. I mean, the more the more like burst pistols. You get them like so early in the game and they're probably like one of the most effective guns in the entire game. And you get it like right off the rip. Just bust out the flare. Oh, there's a little button in the back here. No. Oh. And then now we can access that area now. Sweet. Alright, what do you have in store for me, game? Oh no, that's that's it. <laughs> I thought I thought like you know I'll I'll just assume it'll like let us walk around, but no, that's 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 the end. I'm surprised. Oh, uh, the first I'll say this whole level was was absolutely fucked, especially um with the weird uh the weird jump combos we had to do to pass some sections. I uh thankfully um uh, I've passed it. If if I was still playing this on a keyboard this time around, because uh, last time we played this on keyboard and there's no mouse look, so the best way to play this is on a controller. Hands down, I'm playing this on an Xbox controller. It never came out for Xbox, but there's some uh, there's some great there's some great uh, modernizing mods for the PC. Yeah, some uh, some weird jump combos. We're seeing a lot of those, but uh. All in all, man, I, I'm just, I can't wait to get uh, to uh, get out of these uh, underwater levels. And, uh, here we are, man. I'm not sure exactly where we are. <laughs> we seem to be in another part of the ship, perhaps. And I wonder what's beyond over here. Can we... Can we climb up? Oh, what? Oh, the flamethrower dudes are back. Oh, no, I was not ready for this. I was not ready. I am not prepared. Run, 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 run. Dude, I, ha I hate those guys with a living passion. I don't ever want to see them. Well, uh, just, just by that, I know this level is going to be amazing. Just because of that. <laughs> Let me just walk over to the edge and uh... Hopefully don't die. I can't... Oh, this is the uh... We're at the very tip, we're at the very tip of the ship. I like how this is like... I don't know, I'm not sure if this is like an illusion or like... Some sort of object that's just... They turned PNGs into an object. So like it looks like an actual object but... Really it's just PNGs glued together. 
the way they got around some some things in these older games, man, it's a bit it's a bit charming. All right, but th this looks really cool. Like this level has a pretty grand scale. Like just just look at that. Look at the view. It'd be good to see it all the way into the far back. Is this the entire level? I'm not really stuck. I'm just uh -huh. having a look. Is that uh? Is that what I think it is? Nah, you gotta be shitting me. They finally gave me back my grenade launcher. It only took I don't know a few levels, but these sons of bitches they finally gave it back to me. All right, this uh, this level has uh, automatically made me happy, even though I assume it's probably what the last underwater level. Really do appreciate it. Okay, we have a full arsenal back. It should 100% kill me, but I'm just gonna try it just to satisfy myself. Okay, it didn't, it didn't totally kill us, but there's probably a safer way of getting down, perhaps. Oh. Get out of my face. Oh, I didn't finish him off. Let me guess, there's some sharks here. There's, there's some underwater switch. I mean, this, this isn't where I was meant to go, but I guess we'll uh, go over the flow. Oh, this fish is gonna eat me alive. Should use my harpoon gun, but... Yeah, I'd rather not waste it. Save it for the scuba pricks. We got some pretty huge jumps this, <laughs> this level we gotta do. Alright, we already, already found the key, so that's... We're, we're, do, we're doing well. We're doing, <laughs> we're doing well. Uh-huh. Yeah, in the end, it just ended up being a little box puzzle. <laughs> I was like, do I gotta use these boxes to jump across? And then I always forget, like, yeah, sometimes there's something behind these boxes. Alright, uh, hopefully the key goes into this one. Hallelujah, my gamers. Hallelujah. Alright, what do we got, uh, what do we got for here? <laughs> That's like, we found the greatest archaeological discovery of all time but we got a we got a box over there that we can move but there's a lot i mean this whole place is uh flooded we can't move boxes on the water yeah but we do have a switch over here just conveniently blends in with the walls and where that opened at i have no idea yeah, it's still shut. Oh. Damn. I, uh, I always assume when I, when I see... <laughs> the thing is, I, I did see that, okay? In my defense, I did see that. But the way it works in Tomb Raider is like... Unless it looks like it's about to fall down, it's probably not. I just, that's just the assumption that I gave it. I was like, yeah, there's no way that's gonna open. But uh, sometimes you just have to walk on it. I remember in like one of the previous missions where a door opened by just me jumping on a carpet. So yeah, <laughs> the game is fucked. So I've been running around here like an idiot. Everyone, everyone's been cringing. But uh, hey, man, I really do appreciate uh, all you guys' support for getting me getting me through these uh, these tough uh, these tough times. <laughs> oh man, this is ridiculous. I saw it too, and I just didn't think it would actually open. I just walked on it. People get stuck in this level a lot. Uh, count me one of them. <laughs> count me as one of them. What do we got behind here? 
course there wouldn't be uh, some enemy dude uh, deep in a cave at the bottom of the ocean. Surely not. Okay, we made it past the turbine. Now we just have to... I was... Okay. The hell is this? It look, looks like a life vessel. A, li a life support vessel. What, what do you... What do you... Can somebody correct me? What, what do you call those? Safety, uh... Safety boat, I think. Oh shit, we got the harpoon dudes back at it. They're back at it. Do I even have ammo? No. I got bugger all. Get me on this boat. I looks like we can't climb on the boat just yet. Nah, nah, dude. Nah, I'm not dealing with your crap today. Alright. Pull out the old two trusties. Alright, now, now we can actually, like, actually have a look around now. Alright, what have we got down here? Oh shit, we got another eel. That, that's for sure. Yeah, you wanna come up here? I think it's dead. Maybe. Oh, you know what I think, um, that cave was from before that we saw earlier? I think that might have been like a backtrack point. Where's all this taking us? That takes us to another ditch in, uh, a hole in the ground. You know, already <laughs> down at the bottom of the ocean. You know. Oh, I mean, we finally got to the boat. It's like I, I took a full med kit and just like fall down onto this this boat. You gotta like, it's pretty much like wasting one med kit for no reason. But I uh, thank you very much, Cam. Uh -huh. Thank you very much, Cam. Like, there's some sections, like, to pass in the game where you actually do have to take damage to, like, progress. Uh -huh. Which is, uh, it's a bit unfortunate. But I guess, uh, the game wants to be a bit more, uh, grounded in, uh, reality. Which, uh, I can respect, but man. What a waste. I mean, I, I knew it, man. <laughs> I knew there was gonna be someone else in the water. Or like maybe some other pathway into the cave. I mean, originally I thought this was like a dead end, but turns out there's more. And uh, this looks like it uh, backtracks us back to the beginning. Perhaps? No, no, no. We'll see. It does. Oh shit! It takes us. Th it takes us back to the top. We're finally back at the top. I thought I was gonna be stranded all the way at the bottom for like the for the longest time. Cause there's a little cave opening uh, down at the bottom, so I thought it was just gonna backtrack us. Uh, back backtrack us. Uh, backtrack us back to there, but no. 
All right, man. Okay, this level's getting is <laughs> not getting exciting. I think there's like enemies inside. I hear, I hear somebody walking around, but. Oh shit, I fell into a pool. Wait, how, how can this man burn me alive when I'm in a freaking pool? <laughs> make it make sense. Yeah, that hurt. Yeah, actually 100% right. Because I have done that before. I guess, I don't know, maybe because, like, the longer she runs, the, the less... The less, uh, distance she'll, she'll jump, maybe. But also, I think, like, this wasn't too, too, uh, too long of a platform. <laughs> As I said, man, you're 100% right. It's weird how that works. Alright, looks like we're actually meant to get on here. Terminator yeah. games are weird. It's like, it will make you... It, it'll... It wants you to go to places like you don't think you should be getting onto. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I thought I walked to the, to the very edge, but I guess not. All right, what do we got in this cave that has been teasing us since the beginning of the level? Yeah, are there mermaids in here, perhaps? Okay, looks like we got one of these, but we gotta like platform up and if we fail... We slide all the way down to the bottom. Okay, that was... Far easier than I thought it was gonna be. That's what I hate about the M16 man, it just... Sometimes it's just not firing. <laughs> Okay, that worked. Somehow, somehow the strat always works. You walk to the ledge, you, you jump back once or twice, and you somehow jump farther than, than if you were to run like for 10 seconds and then jump. It's, it's weird. But that's how, that's how Lara Croft works. I mean, if we've done all those, we can truly take this one. It always works, man. Anybody else home? Uh -huh. I think we found the cabin. Maybe. I don't know, there's some like rust and metal. Some nice looking walls. It's a weird combo. Because in real life, like, it's like the... The, lo the, the faster and further you run, like, the longer you'll jump. You know, the, the like, the long jump. Alright, so that door is open now. Is that what all this is for? Get back to once you came. Alright, please tell me if this is the cabin. Please tell me I have the right key. Considering it's a, it's a fancy golden lock. Surely. 
Imagine she just said no. Oh, this, this should be fun. And I'm, I'm, I'm confused as to why the, the, uh, the floors are making breaking sounds. So now that's the door, that, now that door is open. Alright, that was, that was pretty beautiful. We could pretty much, like, we're pretty much on top of the boat now. <laughs> it's crazy. We're at the very bottom and now we're at the very top. It's like we spawned in, like, at the very beginning of the, like, the very middle. Now, what I want to understand is what we do, what would we do here from now on? We, um... Oh. We go on the roof. And I see a dude over there, is he... Was that dude we killed? I, I did not mean to fall down. I did not mean to fall down. I think we found the uh, the key, I think. Uh -huh. I have like no health. That was close. Oh, the second one. Oh, bro, this this place is just fucking swarming with enemies right now. Yeah, this is 100% of the way that I think we should go. What did we just find? I was like, is that the quake symbol for a sec? <laughs> no, it's a, it's an artifact. What is it? A deck. I have no idea what that collectible is. <laughs> okay, so we found, um, is this... Was this the whole point of, of the un underwater levels? Do we have more? I'm, uh, I'm interested. I'm interested to find out like what was um, what happened to the Maria Do uh, is it Maria Doria or Maria Dorcia? Well, whatever happened to the uh, to the ship, the man of shipwreck. Then uh, why is uh, Bartoli's men over there? I got more questions than I do answers. But uh, let's hopefully find out. Please, please, for the love of God, let this be the last underwater level. She made it onto shore. I mean, that, that outfit is, uh, is iconic. Oh, we're back to the, uh, the door rig. Good memories, hey? I knew uh, Lara had uh, piloting, piloting skills as well. She really is a uh, really like a really talented person. And uh, we got a very new outfit, probably the best outfit I've probably seen her in. I mean, surely she, she survives this. In just a nick of time. Oh, we get a brand new loading screen as well. This one actually looks really nice. I love... Guys, I really love snow levels. I love winter time. 
I think that's bec probably because uh, I bet they us usually act around that time. But I love, dude, I love scenario, I love all that. I mean, I might hate the cold, but I just, I just love the time, dude. There's no better time to play video games or do anything. You can wear whatever the hell you want. And look, look at Lara's outfit, man. Okay, th this is the best, uh... This is the best I can give you guys. There it is. Uh, definitely one of the coolest outfits I've seen. It's like she's wearing the normal outfit, but just with a, with a jacket on. Okay, that, that was way better. That was way better. We haven't, we haven't had too many attempts at this, but uh... Yeah, I still love the snow. Double avalanche. You don't see that. I wonder what kind of uh, enemies we got this level. Uh, and hopefully, uh, considering it's Tomb Raider, we see a, uh, maybe a Yeti, maybe a polar bear. Something. W were there bears in the first Tomb Raider? Oh, yeah, no, no, there were bears in the first Tomb Raider, I remember. Yeah, th those guys had some pretty dumb AI, but they were pretty insanely strong. It's been a while. No. I was like, we can just break the snow. I wonder if we just have to, like, jump through it. That works. Oh, shit, the wall is climbable. All the walls are climbable in this, uh, in this level. Oh, this is gonna be fun. I was saying that there's, like, not enough, like, uh, glass breaking or... And wall climbing segments of uh, this game. Looks like they brought them back. I, I really do appreciate that, that, that they include some sections like this. Because I was, I was complaining uh, that in some of the previous levels, like, I'll, I'd go to get off and it'll just, like, throw me all the way down. But it's nice that they uh, included that there. Very much appreciate it. What do we got? Uh... Was that me screaming? Oh, no, that was the fucking... I'm in some bird trouble here. What the f get the fuck out of here? I don't know what do, what do, what do you call these. All right, looks like this this level has some pretty insane scale. I mean, look at look at all this. I'm not sure if it's bigger than the last level, but it it's it's pretty huge, man. It's pretty huge. And uh, as we can see down there, we got a uh, snowmobile. <laughs> pretty excited to drive that it's cool to get another vehicle we can actually control i'm a bit disappointed how uh we never actually got to control the submarine that would have been a uh, that would have been peak i would have really loved that but we can't always have uh have nice things but i'll take a snowmobile Okay, yeah, okay, uh, I guess now I know to, uh, to avoid these. At least tell me there's no more of those. Those things are deadly. But yeah, no joke. It, it's, it's pretty hard to avoid them. I mean, you can walk around, but, like, sometimes, like, the cameras, you just don't get a good look. Major progress, guys. Major progress. Nicholas Stannings is making breakthroughs. And to think five minutes ago, I was stuck on a simple mountain. I have evolved. What the fuck is that guy? These guys have some magnum as a summon. Pull out the good old trusty. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> what is that sound? Where did your cousin go? Surely you guys have some freebies for me? Huh? Or maybe a new weapon? Yeah, these guys surely have something different. I don't, I don't think these guys have the same weapons. We've been used to. They have some like modified. It's like, it's like they have the the uh, the Uzis, but it just colored black with a scope on it. It would have been nice to like if you can like grab like some of these uh, these enemies' weapons and uh, and use it against them. That would have been like a nice feature. And oh shit, we got the, uh, the snowmobile, of course. We got this fucking... I don't know, this... Old wooden door. Surely we get some fucking yetis in this level. Surely my game is... Can we drive this? Yes, we can. <laughs> oh shit. I wonder if we can like break this door. I like the music, alright. Oh shit, we can take it down here. Hell yeah. Oh, this, this is way better than the boat. Does anybody else want to get run over? Oh shit, we got a giant, giant fuck off ramp here. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. For some reason, I don't know how this game's from 1997 and all the cars control like a dream. Okay, yeah, so, so, so that's how we get out. I think before we use the, uh... Snowmobile, we're gonna figure out how to get rid of those, those cubes. Because we know how to get across, but... Because I mean, we aced it, but... I think we have to get a bit on foot now. I like the remix though. Ah, uh, we need more of the classic, uh... Oh shit! Go fucking... Cheaters! I don't know what are these... I don't know this. M16! Fucking reload, man. Oh, this, this is actually getting me pumped, man. What the fuck? I think I need to push it into the hallway. <laughs> Epic music, but all I gotta do is push boxes. Uh, hopefully no more, uh, no more cues we have to push, because that was a bit disappointing. Also, wh where's the Epic music on? Hopefully there's, we get like a lot more of these in the uh, upcoming Tomb Raider games. We very rarely get it, get it in this game, but it's nice. I feel like I'm gonna die from this. Nah, we make it. We make it. And why is there a lever so conveniently planted? Is that a lever? <laughs> it could plant it into, into the rocks, like... Only in Tomb Raider. Like, you can't even see that, the... The thing where it goes in. Yes, guys, put button on rocks. Put a button on some rocks. Don't fall off the edge! Fuck out of my way, bitch. No. Actually, I wonder, can we take- can we take this down there? <laughs> yeah, man. Let's go. 
Oh, that's this looks nice. I don't even know. I can't even see in front of myself. I don't even know why they bother stepping in front of a automobile. <laughs> oh, this is too fun. This is this is more satisfying than fucking hitting people in GTA. But then uh, that was an epic jump. Oh, this is I'm surprised there wasn't anything like this for for the boat. Are you serious? <laughs> Are you serious, guys? All we had to do was jump on the fucking side. <laughs> I can't believe it. I mean, I was like, something's wrong here, but I couldn't, I couldn't quite figure it out. And then, uh, I don't know how many times we died to that. All right, please don't die now. We found it. Guess I've got a stampede of, uh, of avalanches here. It was the key... Oh, yeah, this is the, uh, the drawbridge. When I, when I first, uh, saw this, I kind of assumed these were doors, but... Now looking at it, uh, I don't think these doors could, uh, connect. I don't think they're... <laughs> that long, but when I looked at it, when I looked at it at a glance... I didn't really think of it as a bridge. Alright, but now we got the drawbridge. Alright, let's do this shit, guys. More snowmobile. And from, my, from what I remember, man, it's uh, much easier to control this thing on the freaking D-pad. <laughs> it is on analog sticks. It's a lot more accurate, too. Especially when you're gonna, like, make these, like, sharp turns and stuff. At a high speed. Shit! One of there's a boost button on this. Shit. Oh, we just made it this time. Please, no more. What's going on? And I fell to my death again. Somewhere. That's it. Good shit. Now, what's happening down here? Alright. The music's back and the bridge is down. We lost the bridge again. I swear, I just put that key in. Is there anything like down here? Oh. What do you know? Is that the, uh, is that the... The drawbridge key again? Don't tell me. Oh, the hot key. We got it. So now we go back. <laughs> I should be having a whole fucking James Bond. Uh, a whole James Bond moment right here. But uh, instead I... Uh... Thankfully, uh, mine does have turbo, so... He hasn't even shot us a single time. Go, go, go. Did we just lose him just like that? And uh, we're back again, but I'm not on foot. Again. To put this key in. I still don't know what we uh, have the Sarah for, but... We have the hot key. Oh no, don't tell me there's gonna be some guy in here. Uh, it look, looks pretty empty for the most part, I mean... Was there a certain reason we had to come back here, or...? Surely there's, uh, yeah. 
there's a lever. I was like, it can't just have like hills and stuff. It's, there's gonna be some something in here. Oh, we got assassins coming coming our way. Oh, it looks like I had two uh, two of them. This game's generous. All right, assassins want to come to us, man. Come on. It's free of them. There's three of them. Game, that's bullshit, man. You put me into like some little freaking hut. I got, I got something special for these, uh, for these pricks. Come on. Welcome to my lovely home. Oh, these guys are lining me up. Are you serious? These guys are that strong. <laughs> they still explode like the le Legos, but that is ridiculous. Did you, did you guys see how much each of them required two two grenade launchers, man? What? I wonder what we got. Oh, this guy's fucking back. Guy on foot. He's gonna need to die. His his days of torturing us have come to an end. But I feel like this is like the first of many. This guy isn't like a boss or anything. Yeah, that's that's another strange thing. I I because I remember the first game had some had some bosses, right? Yeah, they did. There wasn't like a whole lot of them, but there were like uh, uh, bosses like sprinkled in, like maybe a few of them here or there, but. I mean, in this game, we haven't actually been getting any bosses. Well, we haven't got a boss yet. Maybe, uh... Maybe towards the end of the game, we'll get, like, maybe a couple. And then uh, this, 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 this game tries to focus on uh, some different aspects. Uh, which I can understand. Like, uh, creative new ways to die. Can I drive his uh his motorcycle? Perhaps? I don't know. Am I am I crazy for thinking about it or Yes we can. What the f It doesn't have boost, but it works, I think. I'm guessing that's why he appears again. And the music's coming in, okay. Big brain. Epic. Come back here. This is actually kind of fun. Huh? That I'm the real snowmobile <laughs> a driver. Did one of this turn into twisted metal or something? This is actually kind of fun. Okay, yeah, that. How about that, guys? How about that? <laughs> oh, you're right. I can't. I can't throw it into the water. <laughs> that actually worked uh, much better than I expected. In a in a much epic fashion too. 
Okay. And now, uh, now we're here. At the bottom of, uh, Tibet. Some guy shot us, but I can't even see where he is. This is why I kind of, like, prefer a lot more, like, first-person games, because you can actually, like, look where you are. <laughs> when I said first-person games, and uh, sometimes the camera's fixed, and, you know, you're just fucked in the way. <laughs> but, uh, Tibet and Foothills, man. I am so excited to be out of those swimming levels. And, uh, Tibet, I mean, yes, we started off a bit rough. But I, once, once I got the hang of things, man, it was, uh... Honestly, probably my uh, favorite level uh, so far in this game. The, uh, <laughs> riding the snowmobile most of the level and having the epic music come along and have, having us being able to, like, hijack their vehicles. You know, it won't let us use their weapons, you know, or whatnot, but it will let us, uh, hijack their own uh, snowmobiles, so. A really cool mission. Probably the best line screen, like, by far. All right, where we are now? Is this uh, is this the one level where we uh, where we start off in a, in a cave? Come on, man! I, I don't know you want to give me a yeti. You want to give me a, like a saber tooth tiger? You want to give me something, game? Oh no, that sound! It's uh, it's all too familiar. Who the hell are these guys? Who the hell am I shooting at? Guess I'm killing them all? Do I... This looked like the, uh, the same guy that, uh... That we saw at the end of the oil rig. When we had that, uh, that one cutscene. It's the exact same model, but just, uh, a different dude. He's wearing the exact same costume as well. The, uh, the monastery. Is that what it is? <laughs> is that what this is? And who are these guys? I'm guessing they were with, uh, Bartoli. So, uh, we're back here again. My chat has, uh, convinced me to, uh, to restart the level. I don't know, how do I help him out? Do I... I don't really have a melee weapon. Come on. Come on. Oh shit, they actually are friendly. Oh, you guys are absolute legends. Thanks for recommending this to me. Uh -huh. Once I- once I came to the last level, I just started like shooting everything. <laughs> Alright. Uh -huh. Good guy, Nick, cuz um... Yeah, I'm- I'm- I'm a bit of- I'm a bit of a... I'm a bit of a good guy. If, if there's a pacifist route in the game, I'll- I'll do it. Okay, now that- that's refreshing, so I can- I've pretty much like half the amount of enemies I have to kill this level. Okay, so now- or now when I walk in, this uh... This monk dude shouldn't try to kill me. Right? Yeah, dude! Watch this, man! What a legend, dude. What a legend. Oh, dude, I, I've got them, like, as my own little personal, uh... I, I would shoot in their direction, but, like, it can't, I kind of worry I'll shoot one of them. So, I'm sorry, monks, I'm gonna have to leave you behind. And, uh, we'll press on. I really, I still really like how this, uh, how this statue looks like. Like, it looks like it could, uh, become a boss at some point. We got old bro here, uh, guarding the, uh, the key. That just, uh... 
left for anybody to take. Do you guys think like uh, places like this uh, really exist in real life? I, I know monasteries exist, but like ones in like the uh, the middle of nowhere, like this giant with statues this high. I don't know. Or maybe I need to study my uh, geography. I'm pretty sure these things will try to kill us because it's still a booby trap. And it's not like it's a living, uh... Being it's, uh, it's an inanimate object. I think we're still on good terms. Uh, hopefully. Let's go, man. Kill him. I don't have melee weapons. If I if I start shooting, I'm gonna kill on them. Dude, I, I'm even scared to shoot the corpse. I had to grab this uh this ominous tablet in the, uh, in the back. Okay. That was, uh, one heck of a jump. Turn some light on. And, uh, I let the fire show begin. So. You kind of have a guideline on where to jump, but it just... Still stress about if you're gonna make it. Oh, beautiful! L Lara can jump like two, two stories. There's this one, and uh, I think this will unlock the statue for us, perhaps. Yeah. Yeah, you guys can't tell me this isn't a bus. We got another key right here. So we got a whole bunch of keys we gotta find, but... I don't know how to help! Come on, monks! I'm praying for you guys. Oh, this guy's getting executed. There's still one more in the fight. Come on, man. Oh, they, they just respawn. I was like, oh shit, they just infinitely respawn. Come on, man. Come on, you can do it. Respawn. Yeah, shit. Oh, we got two of them right now. Oh my, this guy should finish it off. Yeah. Are we still good? We're still good. Come on, man. That is just... I thought we were all friends here. Imagine if I got sliced by that thing. I walked in and uh, this guy sliced me up. And I, I don't know, and I know where this key goes. This goes around uh, the beginning. Okay, let me just uh, the strong room key. Okay, the strong room, a very important part of this uh, of this monastery. I don't know is the statue the most important bit or? And uh, we got the red key, but we got two 
There's two slots for the red key, so I'm not sure if it goes into the main. Oh, we just made it. It has the exact same key lock as well as the one in the main hole, but... Alright, well, so what's, what's behind this door? And why is it so important? Yeah, this is one of the only levels that I'm not pulling out my gun as soon as I come across a corner. This is giving me, um... I'm not quite sure. This is giving me the, uh, the Egypt type vibes. Yeah, dude. Like, the, the sculptures everywhere, like, the nice, the nice artwork. Come on, leaf frog this shit. Oh shit, we jumped over the flame. Okay, that that will actually worked out like rather fantastically. Okay, what is that? No, we cannot walk through. That is one weird uh that is one weird luck. This looks like some pretty significant, right? Prayer wheels. No. Oh, it looked like just the perfect thing. How about, um, the Seraph? No. Oh, damn. All right, we gotta find something for this. I guess while I'm here, let me just flick the switch and uh, just go on with my day. Oh, this is that room from before. And uh, it's been staring me right in the eye. Sometimes, sometimes I forget the, uh, the innovations of this game. That is one crystal, and we got two crystal. And what they go in, I have no idea, but what a nice find. I don't know, the one the crystals go in here? Gemstones. Oh, it does. <laughs> in my inventory, it looks like a little gemstone. Now when you put it in, it's like some sort of giant... <laughs> some sort of giant gem. Alright, we got another one of these. We're opening this door to get a second, um... Prayer wheel. I don't know, do we put that into like the statue or whatnot, or...? I have no idea. Come on. Come on, Mike, save me. Press the lever. That was a save. Alright, this was the strat. I just had to get my boys involved. Oh shit, I wanna see what's uh what's up here. This must be like one tall kind of tower. I mean, it's definitely uh, not longer than the uh, the longest ladder, which uh, we know happened in. I think it was what the second level of the oil rig. The longest ladder of uh, of apparently the whole series, according uh, to Adam. Oh, latest trilogy, I recommend. I mean, yeah, but that that's because they're marketed towards, um, you know, f towards a generalized audience, you know. You got your action, your hardcore guns, and all that stuff. I don't know, these old school Tomb Raider games, they're more like puzzles than, uh, than, uh, than anything. I mean, I, I, I think my first Tomb Raider was playing the, uh, the new, uh, the new... 
the first game in the new trilogy, the, uh, you know, the infamous Survivor reboot. But, uh, I don't know, playing the first game last year and playing this game, like, I feel like, you know, these games have, like, a way, way better story. Gameplay, the gameplay, I prefer the newer games, for sure, 100%. Let me just run on one side. Yeah, I guess we'll take our time with it. Yeah, see, like, way better. Just way better. Okay, so it's a pretty long hallway. Almost! Ah, dude, I can, I can see the end. I'm turning into an insane man. I'm streaming for way too long. I guess uh, the good games do that to you. We found the elusive red ring. Hopefully another... prayer wheel. You know? Okay, let's open up this, uh, this trap door. See what's good down here. And I'm guessing by the looks of it, this is probably like, what, we'll probably come out from, uh, underneath the, uh, the statue. Because I noticed there was like, uh... Two vents at the bottom. Surely there wouldn't be like any any of the uh, enemies down here. I mean, surely the monks would have seen them coming down here. But we need uh, two more prayer um, prayer wheels. Before we open that switch, what's uh, what's up over here? Okay, we got a bit of an outdoor C section. I don't know, man. I've got a... The OG Lara thing by just humming now. Anybody else? Are we still in good standing? Please help me kill the crow. Oh no, worry, I'm gonna shoot the uh, the monk. I could try to uh, I could try to bait him out of here. Just just come around the corner, step into my office. Almost just like walked off the edge. Yeah, I was not risking. I was not risking that next to the uh, next to the monk. I've come this uh, this far. Yes, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Uh, what's waiting for me down here? Oh, very nice. We got one, guys. We got another one. There's one more to find. Uh -huh. And I'm guessing it's probably in the swimming level. So that's, that's very obvious. You see, they killed the guy in here, unfortunately. RIP. To another one uh, of these mugs. Let's try this, uh, this lever. Oh, shit. Okay, we still got another like one of those mock dudes in there. Do your work, my man. Do your work. For here, I can have a make, make have another look. Have I have I gone even going up here? I 
Have I? I mean, this might be it. We trust in Adam Green. <laughs> what a legend, dude. I don't know why that is. You get, like, in real life, like, right. Blah, blah. I've been studying for too long. Uh, if you run really fast, if you run really, like, uh, if you run a good enough distance, you should be able to jump the farthest. But in Tomb Raider, you just need, like, one hop back. And you can jump, f uh, further than, uh, if you just ran across that whole, uh, that whole, uh, hallway. Okay, yeah, that's not. By the looks of it, it looks like I'm gonna have to jump off this. Don't get too close to the flames. I know if I pass that line, I'm getting burnt alive. Well, we'll do the same strat. One hop back. And it just, it kind of just works every time, doesn't it? That's it. So, uh, one, one of these tries, it works. The gemstone. And, uh, we can enjoy our music for the next, uh, 30 seconds. Some, uh, some really good music. Alright, time to find this, uh, the very last prayer wheel. Uh, by all accounts, it should be down here. Well, we'll just have to see. I didn't even plan on making this the last one, I just didn't think we could actually... Uh... I really didn't think it was gonna be on the statue. But, uh, what do you know? Okay, that didn't flood the water just yet, but uh, I guess he got us closer. Okay, that that's just gonna send us back. We got this box right here. Bit of a weird way to stop the water, but I I actually really respect it. Bit of a creative way to stop the uh, the water. But uh, I mean, <laughs> you can stop the water, but like, doesn't why does it have to like completely like flood all the water? All right, man. One more prayer wheel. Well, take some fall damage, but oh, or well, maybe not. It's uh, it's weird to be in this area now. Now that there's uh. There's no water, but I, I knew we were eventually gonna have to deflight it because yeah, you got the big ass box here. Just not sure which uh which side we should take it to. Let me guess what, there's some sort of secret, uh... Only, uh, only Tomb Raider games <laughs> are designed like this, and there's always something. Well, we have it now. We've come all this way. And I, I, I didn't, actually didn't think it was gonna be that easy. I mean, surely, they surely they would've made it, uh, a bit more tricky. But it's not like they were, uh, that insane to grab, it just, yeah, there was quite a lot of them, but there was like five we had to grab. But that one seems like the one with the least uh, resistance, but I'm guessing you had, you had the whole puzzle there as well. I mean, despite this game being, uh, you know, ha having a difficult development in, uh, in eight months, I mean, I still put a whole lot of shit, shit ton of effort into this game. And, uh, thankfully, we're still good with the monks, so I'm, uh, I'm pretty excited about this part. I'm going the wrong way. The final one. 
Let's see, man. After all this time, will my, uh... Will my loyalty be repaid? I mean, I restarted a level. Just so I can, uh, be good with these monks. And the Seraph! We can finally put it in. We found that at the, uh... The very end of the uh, underwater levels, you know, an abandoned ship at the bottom of the ocean. Just for that one little artifact to open that one little door. And, uh, that is the. I'm not even trying to pronounce that. That is how, honestly, w despite it being long and a bit tricky in some areas, that has to be one of my favorite tr uh, Tomb Raider levels uh, that I've played, because, uh,. The whole loyalty system, I really do appreciate the stream, like, it was like, uh, you had Adam in there, you had, uh... Adam and Jeronowska, shout out to you guys, telling me to re- to restart the level. Because <laughs> I can get the monks on my side. I mean, they didn't come- they didn't, uh, come too in handy, but I guess we'll see how the loyalty, uh, continues into the next levels, uh... Hopefully. Maybe. Uh, pretty good, man. Pretty good. <laughs> we only had to, like, fight, like, half the, half the, half the enemies because, you know, the, uh, the other half were on our side. It was fun, man. Definitely one of the best, uh, three meta levels in the game. Tibet has to be the, the, uh, the absolute best of this, uh, of this game so far. And, uh, I'm kind of uh, excited to see what they uh, what they uncover in China, but uh, there's still one more part, and uh, there's still an artifact missing.